Hi, I'm back here again in Swift Pause Touch, and in this video I'm going to be looking at end of day reports. Some people also know these as Z reports. These are typically reports that you run at the end of the day through the point of sale uh, and print out a receipt or docket which breaks down various bits of information that you might need to know at the end of the day. For example, you might need to know the amounts of media that were taken, say cash and FPOS, in order to balance the till and do your banking. Um, you might also like to have a look at how much in value each particular clerk has processed on that day, or how much in value of each group of product you've sold in that day. Um, and I'll show you how you can customize these reports to give you just the information that you want to see that's useful to you. So I'll start here in Swift Pause Touch in the Tools menu in the top right hand corner and then in Terminal Settings and down here in Reports. In this first tab there are quite a lot of options which are global to all of the reports that you might be setting up. Um, you can generally leave these as default unless there's something in particular here that you're interested in seeing or not seeing. For example, you'll probably want to see the receipt header and footer, so you can leave those enabled. Further down, you have a few options for uh, allow committing with open tables, which um, some people might like to enable. Uh, but most people generally will not because you typically won't be ending the evening if you have tables which are still open uh, with unfinalized transactions on them. You may or may not also like to allow committing with open tabs. Some people have tabs which run overnight or for many days at a time um, and in that case you may like to actually keep that tab open um, through the night after you've closed the till and run your reports. If I now click on add edit reports, another window will pop up and I'll see over here on the left hand side all of the different report types that are currently configured. I'll have options to add or remove reports and then over here on the right hand side I'll have options to configure each of these reports individually to decide what is shown on the report and how the report looks when it's printed. Now I'm not entirely sure why these reports are typically called X-Read or Z-Read. It, it just seems to be um, what people call them. Um, there might be a, a reason for it but I don't know what that is. But in most cases the X-Read uh, daily or weekly or whatever uh, is generally a preview so you can run that uh, halfway through the day to see how you're tracking in terms of um, sales goals, things like that. Um, and it does not reset the totals for the day. The Z reads typically do reset the totals for the day. Um, but again, this is all configured individually for each, uh, each separate report. So I'll start by taking a look at the X read, which like I said, is really just a preview to show how you're tracking throughout the day. So if I highlight this X read daily and click on report setup, I can see what goes into this report. There's a couple of columns here. Over here on the left hand side are all of the different types of information that you might like to include on the report that are not currently assigned. Over here on the right hand column are all of the different types of information that are currently assigned to this report. And then further over here on the right are some various settings that you might like to look at and enable or disable. So as the name of the report suggests, this is configured to report on daily sales. Um, and being an X report, it's not currently configured to reset the sales after we print the report off. On this report, we're interested in the media total. So that's how much of cash, FPOS and so on we've taken. Fixed totals is going to report on your gross and net sales as well as things like um, discounts and refunds and tax totals will obviously show the amount of tax. We've also got a few options enabled down here to show cleared items, credit sales and gross sales. We probably want to leave those enabled so that we can see 
um, if there is a large volume of cleared items or credited sales uh, which are not justified or that we might need to justify. So that's basically all that goes into an X report. You personally might like to uh, add more information to show on that report. For example, uh, the amount of transactions that each clerk has done, or you might like to see how much value of each master group of product you've sold throughout that period. But generally, those are shown on the Z report at the end of the evening. Um, so we'll take those off for now. There's a few different other options here you might like to play around with and see if the information that it gives you is in any way useful to you as you're tracking sales throughout the day. Uh, still on this X report, we can also change how the button looks on the actual report key. Uh, so you can change the colors and the text color and adjust the font if you want to. Now I'll take a look at the Z report, clicking on report setup. We can see that there are quite a few differences between this and the X report. For one, we have a little bit more information here in the assigned column. We might also like to take a look at product groups. And most importantly, we have reset sales after print. This is basically going to reset all of this information when the report is printed and committed. Uh, and that means it's ready to go again the next day um, and record that day's sales independently of what we've done today. There are a few other settings here. We also have reset available servings. Um, I don't think I've talked about servings, um, but I will get into that in another video. Um, lock terminal, this basically will lock the terminal in the same kind of way that it is locked when you finalize a transaction, but it will also throw up a screensaver um, to say that that terminal is locked and you'll need to log in as a clerk to unlock it. You can also reset the tips, which is just a, a different type of income. And similar to the X report, we want to show cleared items, credit sales and gross sales. You may like to enable the signature line so that the staff member who's committing that report um, can, can sign it uh, to say that they've checked everything and everything looks good or whatever they do. And then hand that into the relevant manager at the end of the evening. You probably don't want to restart the terminal at the conclusion of the shift, um, but that option is there if you do want to do it. And there are a few other options like commit time clock data, uh, which I'll probably cover in another video because it's a little bit too involved and it's quite a tangent from what we're talking about here. Anyway, I'll OK that. Um, similarly, you can change all the colors of the button and you can also change the description of each report up here if you want to. And you can see that I have a couple of weekly reports, so X Read Weekly and Z Read Weekly. These do pretty much the same thing as their daily reports. Um, they just cover a whole week's uh, worth of transactions rather than just a single day. Uh, it, it's up to you whether you want to use weekly reports or even monthly reports. Um, it depends on the volume of sales and, and how you manage your business. However, the option is always there if you do want to use it. So, OK, OK. Now I'll take a look at how the reports actually look. So somewhere on your keyboard, you'll probably already have a print reports function key. Um, if not, I'll show you how to add that in just a moment. Um, but once we click on that, we have all the different reports displayed here and we can choose the one we want to run. So for example, the X read daily. And you can see that I've made $10 worth of cash sales and that that is also my draw total and my terminal total. I have gross sales down here and I don't have any discounts or anything here to show. I can print that if I choose to. I don't have a printer set up so I won't do that. And that will just print out of your normal receipt printer. Okay, now I've done a few more sales uh, throughout the day. And I'm going to come here and do my Z read. So if I click on that guy, first of all, I'll get to preview what I'm about to print. 
you can see now that my gross sales is quite a lot larger. Um, I also have the number of different transactions just here. And I can use the buttons on screen to scroll down a bit so that I can see what uh, the breakdown is across my different media totals. Uh, in this case, it's just cash and F plus. The sum of all of those media totals is going to be my draw total. A little further down, I have my tax totals. Pretty straightforward there. Um, and I also have my clerk breakdown. I did all of these transactions as admin, um, so there's not much to see here, but if there had been other clerks involved, then you would see a breakdown over each different um, clerk. And further down even more, we have the different product groups that were involved in selling whatever I sold, um, which was basically just uh, some drink items and some desserts. And lastly, we have the date and time stamp at the bottom when this report is being committed. So once you've reviewed this information and you're quite happy with it, you can go ahead and press commit and print. Or if you don't need a paper copy, you can go commit and no print. Um, I'll do that now. And you can see that my terminal is now locked. Uh, to unlock this, you can just tap anywhere on the screen. It'll ask you to unlock the terminal and you can say yes. And the terminal is now unlocked. So that's the basics of end of day reporting and the various different types of information that you can see with those reports. The last thing I'll show you is how to add a reports button on your keyboard if you don't already have one. Um, that's done here in SwiftPos back office. In Connect Touch Settings, Keyboards, Open Keyboard, choose the keyboard that you currently have on your terminal, and then locate a place to put your Reports button. So you can put that on, for example, the management uh, layout, which is where my button currently is, or anywhere else that you have space. Say, for example, you had some space here. You can click an empty key, set your link type to function, and set your link item using the little dot, dot, dot to report. Function 12, print reports. And like any other key, you can adjust the colors and font um, and image if you want to. There isn't very much in the way of more settings for this function. Uh, report area is something I'll touch on in another video. And now that key will simply pull up whatever reports are already configured at the post. So I hope that's given you a basic understanding of uh, what end of day reports are, what they're used for, and how you might be able to configure them to show various data at the end of the night. I hope that's been helpful for you and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.